Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Panini Impeccable Baseball. Three box, full case, pick your team at number nine. Number nine, number nine, number nine. So here on a Tuesday the 19th, you can see we are getting new toner soon. Uh, Kevin with Last Spot Mojo with the Diamondbacks. There's everybody else, and then we pulled some teams, we pulled the remaining teams for that random number block. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been banging on that drum for years, Rex. Why don't, why don't, why doesn't Major League Baseball, and here's the results of the random number block, randomizer. Oh, why Major League Baseball doesn't do all these awards on one night? Make a, make a huge deal out of it. They started doing that all, in, all MLB award ceremony that they did. I don't think anyone watched that. But, but I think it announced the all MLB first and second team, and then you're like Roberto Clemente award winner, which kind of sucks because that's a great award, but no one's watching that award show. You know, you got to do like, you got to do all that one night. Get everyone to Vegas. You know, get everyone there. Do the whole red carpet stuff. Make it a whole thing. This is the metal piece. Or no, that's the large relic there. They should do, they should run through all MLB super quick at the beginning of the show. You know, put MVP at the end. Do Roberto Clemente award before MVP. So that gets its full due. But no. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Two out of 25. The players must not want to do it. <laughs> no, it was, I, I, it was me. I, I didn't... I did not request the toner soon enough, and we were. I thought we had an extra cartridge. Toner's not cheap these days. It's Kyle Teal, ninety-seven out of ninety-nine. God, we gotta sell, gotta sell some more uh, impeccable baseball cases to cover that toner budget. Kyle Teal go to Walter in Boston. A Rod, 41 out of 60. Rangers. That's going to be a random number block team. And that'll go to Texas 1. That'll be for Greg. Yeah, maybe Fanatic could put on a ward show. And then make them, make them work. I'm, I'm sure that's what ball players in the offseason want to do. They're already asking them to go to an award show. Rex wants them to sign afterwards, too. And I guess if they, if they pay him extra, maybe. 24 out of 35, Carlton Fisk. Maybe they do it. Uh, Walter with Boston. Nice. A Rod goes over here. This stays over here with me. Dalton Rushing, nice. Watercolor ink, two out of twenty-five. You might see him look for a uh, look for a possible starting job next year. Especially if they aren't able to re-sign Teoscar Hernandez. We'll see. Brad with the Dodgers. And Colson Montgomery, White Sox. Walter with the White Sox. Nice patch there. 30 out of 99. Got Max Muncy, Oakland edition. 5 out of 25. 
Oakland let go of one Max Muncy. They, they were like, we're not making that mistake again. Gets another Max Muncy in their organization. This Max Muncy is actually supposed to be pretty good. Uh, A's are a random number block team, so Oakland 5. Stephen K. There you go, Stephen. All right, I might, yeah, we might have to increase the toner budget by selling some vet commons under, under a bridge. 62 out of 99, Robbie Snelling. For the Padres, Cassandra picks up the Padres straight up. All right, that's box one. Box two of three. Folks, if you just want a little snack, we got one box random team breaks of this. Um, we've got the third and final box of the case on the website right now. Once we knock that out, the next one could be, the next one boxer will be from a fresh case. That's the metal plate. All right, there's Noble Meyer, 12 out of 30. The, this very Noble Meyer going to Walter and the Marlins. There's Mariano Rivera, 36 out of 99. That's going to go to the Yankees. New York 6. It's going to be for Greg. I don't know if the White Sox have gotten rid of the GM. I think the White Sox just hired a manager, so it looks like the GM hired that manager, so it looks like maybe their fates are tied together. There's Sammy Sosa. I think it is, actually. It, really, it is. 76 out of 99, Sammy Sosa for Chicago. That's going to be for Florence. Oh, no. You like to... There's Miles Naylor, 42 out of 49. That is for the A's. A's are a random number block team. Oakland, two. It's going to be for Adam. Check his 76 out of 99, three color patch. That's Charlie Soto for the Twins. That's going to go to Dominic Dom with the Twins. There is a Kevin McGon Mag McGonagall. There it is, McGonagall. Professor McGonagall? 45 out of 49. Piece of the lumber and autograph. I'm sure, he's in he's in Gryffindor. Lumber signatures, Detroit. Robert. <laughs> and we yeah, every, they'll throw in some immaculate cards in here. This is Addison Barger, eight out of ten, three color triple relic for Toronto, and that's for Nathaniel with the Blue Jays. All right, back here, we've got Jackson Churio. 78 out of 99. Three-color patch and autograph. The Brewers were not picked up straight up. Nobody wanted this Jackson Churio. So it got bundled into a random number block. Brewers, eight. Alan Murdoch, forget about zero, Alan. How about number eight helping you out? Nice. Yeah, Alan, Alan can live with it. I mean, 
Well, generally, if they do a fire sale of the front office, Rex, the GM... I mean, it, it would be uncommon for someone for a GM to hire a manager and then get fired. For a new GM to get picked up, because the GM would most likely want to hire their own guy. Oh no, did you drop something? Watch your back. So it sounds like the GM is 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 still alive, unless he got fired, but I don't think I heard that. Yeah, I think Chris Getz is still the still the general manager there. So, yeah, so Getz hired Venable, so that's going to be unlikely that it'd be it'd be pretty would not be common to see the GM get fired after that. With players, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I think Crochet is a big candidate to get traded, but there's not really much to sell, much for the White Sox to sell to have a fire sale, you know what I mean? Players-wise, anyway. Dodger legend Miguel Vargas deserves some everyday playing time. Maybe, maybe that'll happen in, in Chicago. Dylan Cruz. For the Nats, Skeens' old teammate, big prospect there for the Nats. That's going to be for Washington three. It's for Greg. Speaking of LSU, do you remember uh, that video of that pitcher who pinch hit and hit a home run for LSU, and then after the game, he told his coach like, "I never hit in high school. Like my coach would have let me." No. <laughs> you never seen that? No. So this guy, uh, he, this guy tells his coach. And that kid was Dylan Cruz. <laughs> no. He tells his coach, they need a pinch hitter. He's like, I used to hit bombs in high school. The guy goes up there, pinch hits. Patrick with the Mariners. Hits a home run. And then at a walk-off home run, I'm pretty sure. Uh -huh. Like, game winning home run. So he convinces his coach to yes, let him hit. Let him hit. And Is this a regular season game? or? I don't know. But he, uh, anyway, after the game, in the post-game interview, he's, he's sitting down there with his coach. He's like... They asked him, what was the last time you hit in a competitive game? And he's like, i got to be honest, Coach. Uh, Sorry to interrupt the story, Michael, but <laughs> it's a 4 out of 10, Ellie Dela Cruz. Ellie Dela Cruz is a random number block team. Nobody wanted the Reds. Reds number 4. Greg, the extra spot coming in handy. Nice. That's awesome. Congrats, Greg. Nobody wanted him. We got Churio and and Cincinnati in this uh, in this break. And here's Carson Williams, 30 out of 99 for the Rays. That'll be for Allen. Allen with number zero. So in the post game, he just goes and says, "I was kidding." I sit down in the interviewer and the person asks, um, "What? Like, what was the last time you hit in a competitive baseball game?" And he goes. Uh, High school, but coach, I gotta be honest with you, my high school coach didn't let me hit in high school. I didn't hit. <laughs> and she was like, what did you think going up there? He was like, go yard. <laughs> was it just like, got lucky, like first pitch fastball and he just was, was just hunting fastball and just got lucky? How have you never seen one? 24 out of 49, Mario Soto for the Reds. Number four. Reds four, Greg. And there's Chris Sabo for the Reds. Remember the the goggles, seven out of twenty-five. 
Rex is predicting Ellie's going to have a bad sophomore slump in his upcoming junior year. There you go. Red 7 is going to be Greg. And the last one here is his Texas edition of Jose Canseco. 12 out of 25. I hope so. <laughs> Let's keep that streak going. Texas 2 is going to be for Adam. Adam with uh, Rangers edition of Jose Canseco, which everyone remembers the time he went up for a to catch a home run, to rob a home run, but the ball bounced on top of his head and went over the fence for the home run. All right, let's see what we got here. I think this is the metal piece, or the silver. That's the relic. Here's the metal card. And that is Kyle Teal, one of Boston's up-and-coming uh, prospects, hopefully stars. That's gonna be for Walter and the Red Sox. Forty-one out of ninety-nine. The relic, which has typically been some sort of glove or a hat. Nice, Noah Schultz. Three out of six. That is awesome. The Sox logo from the hat. That's really cool. And that'll be for Walter and the White Sox. I don't think this is going to fit into... Is this a 180 top loader? Is I need a slider box here. It's going to be a little more comfortable in a slider box. All right, and the metal piece, the silver piece, sometimes gold, usually silver. This one's going to be silver. This one's going to be nice. Rated prospects, some fine, fine silver. Dylan Cruz. And Dylan Cruz is a random number block team. That is 15 out of 25. Nationals 5. Stephen K. With that fine, fine silver. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another great case of impeccable baseball in the books. That was Pick Your Team number nine. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.